Guys, what is up? If you are trying to take your health and fitness to the next level, or if you have a lung condition like asthma, or you're recovering from another sort of infection like pneumonia, then a spirometer may come in handy for you. Now, if you've seen spirometers before, they're usually pretty big. Breathe Through is about to release the first ever portable spirometer that you can literally hold in the palm of your hand. Kind of looks a little bit like an e-cigarette, if I'm being honest. Let's take a look at how this little guy is taking the big medical machines that we see in hospitals and medical centers and putting that functionality right in the comfort of your own home. Let's check it out. So in the box with the breathe through, when you receive it, you will of course receive a copy of the instruction manual. You also get a handy USB charger. It has an internal battery that allegedly lasts for about five months, which is amazing. You'll also receive two mouthpieces, which are totally washable and safe even for dishwasher use. And then of course you receive the unit itself. Other than the mouthpieces, the entire device is a single piece. The design, as I said, kind of looks similar to an e-cigarette. It has your lung capacity reading right on the front with a little uh, digital display with one button on the back, charger on the bottom, and the insert for the mouthpiece at the top of the unit. Up close and in the hand, the device is basically the same size as a computer mouse, so you can easily slide it into your pocket or throw it on a necklace, keep it with you, whether you're on the go at the gym, at the home office, or out and about on the town doing whatever you need. So how do you use the device? Well, you hold the button on the back for about five seconds, that turns it on, and then you simply blow into the mouthpiece at the top, deep breath in, and then blow straight out, and wait until you run out of breath, and then you'll receive a digital readout with your lung capacity. This device, the breathe through, measures your vital lung capacity. So the vital capacity of your lungs is essentially the maximum amount of air that you can push out before you run out of breath or you have to catch your breath. The breathe through reads this in milliliters. Typically the conversion charts you see online are read in liters, but it's pretty straightforward to convert milliliters into liters. Now there's a bunch of different factors that determine what is a healthy vital lung capacity for each individual, but for most normal adults, the vital capacity of your lungs should be between three and five liters or 3,000 to 5,000 milliliters if you're referring to the breathe throughs readings. So who is the breathe through really for? If you smoke or again, have a medical condition, a device like this is gonna help give you an indicator of how well your lungs are performing or what sort of general healthy condition or unhealthy condition your lungs are in. If you are a healthy adult, you should have between three and five liter lung capacity or vital lung capacity. If your breathe through is giving you a lower reading than that, that may be an early indication or an active indication that you need to take action or make a lifestyle change to improve your lung condition. The breathe through automatically saves the last five readings that you've done on the device. You simply click the button on the back once to bring up your past readings as such. And that way over time, you can sort of track what your lung capacity, vital lung capacity is doing based on exercise, daily activities, change in lifestyles, all these sorts of things. Now, while this device is probably not for everybody, there's probably not a ton of people that are thinking, oh, I need to go and get my lungs tested on a regular basis. At about $40 US on Kickstarter right now, this device is a pre-production one. The final version is actually gonna have a companion app that will allow you to get even more insights into your breathing and your lung health and all that great sort of data. Part of what I wanna do in 2022 is try and make active choices and active decisions and actions in my life to improve my health and well-being overall. Obviously, your lungs are a huge part of your active health and well-being. And as I'm going to be setting more time to be physically active and exercising and working out, that lung capacity should, with cardiovascular exercise and activity, should improve. My best reading 
on the Bree 3 so far is about 4,200 milliliters or 4.2 liters, which is pretty much in and around the average. But I actually think for my age, it should be a little bit better. Although it would be very difficult, I think, and it would take a long time for me to improve that number. It's still interesting and helpful to know that, hey, there's room for improvement on the cardio side of things. A device like this is not an essential device for most people, but if you are a health and wellness fanatic or fan or you're just curious about it like I am. I'm definitely not a fitness junkie in any way, but I do enjoy having the data at my fingertips or in my pocket whenever I may need it that I can pair with the data readings I'm getting from my other health tracking sources. And the more data points you have, the better overall understanding you as an individual can have over your personal health and well-being which will allow you to make better decisions to improve yourself. You can't really put a price on your health and well-being, can you? Anyways, guys, if you want to check out the Breathe Through Spirometer for yourself, link right at the very top of the description. You can go back up on Kickstarter right now. Like I said, the price is better than you're going to find it anywhere else at the time of public release. And we'll be shipping out to everybody who backs it really soon. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments or are curious about more information about the Breathe Through, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you want to know and I'll definitely get back to you and we'll see you in the next one.